Quantum computing is a powerful but challenging way of using quantum physics. It can solve some problems faster than classical computers, but it also has many limitations. What if there is another way of computing that can compete with quantum computing in some tasks? This is tensor network contraction, a technique that uses networks of tensors to handle high-dimensional data. Tensors are like matrices or vectors, but with more indices. In this video, I will show you how tensor network contraction works, what it can do, and how it relates to quantum computing. I will also talk about its applications and challenges for quantum physics and algorithms. By the end of this video, you will learn why tensor network contraction is a new and exciting type of classical computing. So, watch this video and discover how tensor network contraction beat quantum computing in some cases. Tensors are mathematical objects that can have multiple indices, such as matrices or vectors. For example, a matrix is a tensor with two indices, and a vector is a tensor with one index. It can also have more than two indices, such as a cube or a hypercube. A tensor network is a way of representing a high-dimensional tensor using a network of smaller tensors. Each node in the network corresponds to a smaller tensor, and each edge corresponds to an index that is shared between two tensors. For example, a matrix can be represented as a tensor network with two nodes and one edge, and a cube can be represented as a tensor network with eight nodes and 12 edges. A tensor network contraction is a way of manipulating a tensor network by combining two or more tensors into a single tensor. This is done by summing over the shared indices between the tensors, which reduces the dimensionality of the network. For example, contracting a matrix with a vector results in a scalar and contracting a cube with a vector results in a matrix. It can be used to perform calculations that would otherwise require a large amount of memory and time on a conventional computer. For instance, tensor network contraction can be used to find the ground state energy of a quantum system, which is the lowest possible energy that the system can have. This is a very important problem in quantum physics, as it determines the properties and behavior of the system. However, finding the ground state energy of a quantum system is very hard for classical computers, as it requires storing and manipulating a huge amount of data that grows exponentially with the size of the system. It can overcome this challenge by using a network of tensors that can efficiently represent the quantum system and its interactions. By contracting the network, the ground state energy can be obtained without storing the entire data. This is similar to how quantum computers can use qubits, which are quantum bits that can exist in superpositions of two states to represent and manipulate quantum systems. However, unlike quantum computers, tensor network contraction does not rely on quantum phenomena, such as superposition, entanglement, and interference, to perform the calculations. Instead, it uses classical mathematics and algorithms to achieve the same results. Now that we have seen what tensor network contraction is and how it works, let's see what problems it can solve and how it compares to quantum computing. In a recent research paper, a team of scientists from the University of California, Berkeley and the University of Waterloo showed that tensor network contraction can solve problems such as finding the ground state energy of a quantum system, simulating quantum circuits, and computing quantum entanglement measures. They also demonstrated that tensor network contraction can outperform quantum computing in some cases, such as when the quantum system is noisy or has many local interactions. One of the problems that they solved using tensor network contraction is the Quantum Approximate Optimization Algorithm, or QAOA, which is a quantum algorithm that can find approximate solutions to optimization problems, such as the traveling salesman problem, the knapsack problem, and the max cut problem. Optimization problems are problems that involve finding the best possible solution among many possible solutions, such as finding the shortest route between several cities, the most valuable combination of items that can fit in a knapsack, or the best way to divide a network into two groups. QAOA works by encoding the optimization problem into a quantum system 
such as a quantum circuit, and then finding the ground state energy of the system, which corresponds to the optimal solution of the problem. However, QAOA requires a large number of qubits and quantum gates to encode and manipulate the system, which makes it hard to implement on a quantum computer. Moreover, QAOA is sensitive to noise and errors that can occur in the quantum system, which can affect the accuracy and reliability of the solution. The researchers showed that tensor network contraction can perform QAOA faster and more accurately than quantum computing by using a network of tensors that can represent and contract the quantum system. They also showed that tensor network contraction can handle larger and more complex optimization problems than quantum computing by using a network of tensors that can adapt to the problem size and geometry. For example, they solved a max cut problem on a graph with 100 nodes and 4950 edges, which is beyond the reach of current quantum computers. One of the implications of tensor network contraction is that it can provide a new way of understanding and exploring quantum physics and quantum information. Tensor network contraction can reveal the structure and properties of quantum systems, such as the entanglement, the correlations, and the symmetries that are otherwise hidden or inaccessible. Tensor network contraction can also help discover new quantum phenomena and phases of matter, such as topological order, quantum criticality, and quantum chaos that are otherwise hard to observe or predict. One of the applications of tensor network contraction is that it can provide a new tool for developing and improving quantum algorithms and applications. It can help design, test, and debug quantum algorithms and applications, such as QAOA, quantum machine learning, quantum error correction, and quantum cryptography. It can also help optimize, benchmark, and compare quantum algorithms and applications by providing a classical reference and a performance measure. However, Tensor network contraction also faces some challenges and limitations that need to be addressed and overcome. One of the challenges of tensor network contraction is that it requires finding the optimal network structure and contraction sequence that can minimize the computational cost and maximize the accuracy. This is a hard problem that depends on the problem size, geometry, and complexity. The researchers used some heuristics and algorithms to find the optimal network structure and contraction sequence, but there is still room for improvement and innovation. Another limitation of tensor network contraction is that it depends on the problem size and geometry. It works well for problems that have a low dimensional or regular geometry such as a line, a square, or a cube. However, it becomes harder and less efficient for problems that have a high dimensional or irregular geometry, such as a graph, a tree, or a manifold. In this video, I have explained how tensor network contraction works, what problems it can solve, and how it compares to quantum computing. I have also discussed the implications and applications of tensor network contraction for studying quantum physics and developing quantum algorithms as well as the challenges and limitations of this technique. It is a new type of classical computing that can keep up with, and even surpass, quantum computing in some tasks. Tensor network contraction is a way of representing and manipulating high-dimensional data using networks of tensors. It can efficiently perform calculations that would otherwise require a large amount of memory and time on a conventional computer. It can solve problems, such as finding the ground state energy of a quantum system, simulating quantum. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it and learned something from it. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to share them below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more videos like this. See you next time.